Hey guys, that this is Elijah Folk or Harry Potter, and today I'm going over the top 17 supervillains in the Marvel u universe. Now, um, these aren't from worst to best, but I'm just um, just gonna name all 17 of them. So the first one is you know him, and you want him to be dead. And the next Avengers movie is Thanos from Avengers: Infinity War. He's a guy that um, is trying to wipe out the the half of humanity for the greater good and and he said with all six stones on his gondola um he he can wipe out half of humanity with a snap of his fingers and i don't want to spoil the movie but um i don't want to spoil the movie or anything but that's what he said in the movie so the second one is alexander pierce from captain america the winter soldier um Alexander Pierce is a guy who's the leader of an agency in Hydra, which, if you haven't seen Cap Cap the first Captain America, Hydra is a, a per, a, like a secret Nazi agent agency, rogue Nazi agency. Um, the leader was Red Skull. And if you've guys seen Infinity War, Red Skull is in Infinity War. And Alexander Pierce is the mind con controller of the Winter Soldier. Um, of the Winter Soldier. And he he wipes out his brain. Um, so, yeah. The third one is Ronan from Thor. I don't really know about him that much, but he's a supervillain. Um, I don't haven't actually seen Ro Thor before, but... I've seen little clips of Ronan. It, he's he's um, fully called Ronan the Accuser, and he um, I don't really know much about him. So the fourth one is Sonny Birch, the worst super here, super villain I've ever seen. He's not even a real super villain. He's just he's just a guy to get on hope hope and hopes and Hanks nerves from Ant Man and the Wasp. He's a guy that um, is trying to get Hank his um, his this key to the to the go to the quantum realm to save their mom, and um, so yeah, he only appears in Ant Man and the Wasp, not in the first Ant Man. So we we're, we're going to the second, the sixth one, which is Whiplash from Iron Man. He is the main rival. With Iron Man in the first one, he has this, um, his suit is at, literally called Whiplash Mark II, if you've seen Iron Man, and he's like the main rival with Iron Man. So, the, the next one is Vulture from Spider-Man Homecoming. Um, it's about Vulture, if you've ever seen little parts of him in other Spider-Man ones, but... He's a guy who um, is selling weapons to criminals illegally, and Spider-Man um, is trying to find. And Spider-Man is finding out these different guys who are working for him, and um, it's a pretty awkward part where, like, he's he's his girlfriend's dad, which is pretty awkward. But the any anyway, the ninth one is Red Skull from Captain America. He is the like I said is the leader. Met the main creator of Hydra, um, he he literally has a red skull. Um, he literally has a red skull in that movie, um, Captain America. It's pretty creepy though. Um, the tenth one is Loki from Thor. Loki is now named the god of mischief, and he is a hero and a villain. Because he appears first in Thor, and he appears in the Avengers. He appears in Infinity War, where he, where, um, he, yeah, he's sort of like, he's sort of like a villain hero, is what they call him. And he's the god of mischief, he's the prince of Asgard, um, and he's Thor's brother. And they don't really get along that much. I mean, they would in some occasions, but... And sometimes they don't really get get along that that much. The eleventh one is I wouldn't say is a, 
pretty bad supervillain, Ultron. He is um, the first guy. He was on. He is on Thanos' side from Avengers: Age of Ultron. He um, he says he's trying to wipe out half of humanity for the greater good, which is a pretty dumb idea as a supervillain to save everybody and wipe out by killing people. That's pretty pretty weird, but. Um, he's, he was on Thanos' side of saying, I'm trying to kill half of humanity to keep, to keep this universe safe, but, but anyway, the next one is Eric Killamonger, I don't know if it's Killamonger or something, but he is, um, the cousin of Black Panther, he is, he's the cousin of Black Panther, and he kill um he's mad at Black Panther's dad because he killed um the, his dad killed his um Eric's father um and yeah he's pretty mad at him and um so yeah the thirteenth one is Ghost I don't know about Ghost he's she's kind of a okay villain because. The only cool power she has is walking through walls. I mean, who, who would not, who would, who would really not want to walk through that wall right there and go to the bathroom? Because my bathroom is straight from over my over my room. So, so yeah, who would who would want to just who would not? Sorry, not want to walk walk through a bathroom and go to the bathroom just there. Um. So so yeah, it's. She she's kind of it's kind of funny to for her to walk through walls and stuff, but I don't really get what she's trying to do as a villain. But the fourteenth one is the Winter Soldier. Now he's a villain. He's a, he's a hero now, but during the Winter Soldier, the movie, he was kind of a rival to Captain America because he was um, Bucky Bucky Barnes, but he apparently after he if if you've seen the Captain America. He um, falls down, but then he survives, and then he gets this really cool metal arm that can, that's almost indestructible. Like he can like rip things out, and it'd be no problem. The fifteenth one is Venom. Um, I don't really get what Venom does. He's just a freak that's a knockoff of Spider-Man going around eating people. That's really not what I would want to do as a villain. I bet Venom's always bragging that he's trying to brag that Spider-Man's better than anybody. Anyway, the 16th one is Ajax from Deadpool. Ajax, and, a.k.a. Francis, he's the guy that made Deadpool indestructible. He's the guy that made him, if someone shoot, shoots him, they're just, he'd bleed, be bleeding, but he w wouldn't die at all. But um, Deadpool was kind of mad at him because he made him with this ugly face and... and uh, his girlfriend had, didn't like him anymore, and he was kind of getting revenge. And as, at, in my opinion, I think Deadpool was kind of ungrateful for that. But oh well, Deadpool is a superhero, so I can't talk. the The seventeenth one is Cable from Deadpool Two. He's this really cool guy with this legit awesome Fortnite gun that that goes like <laughs> it's really cool. Um, I don't know much about Dead. I don't know much about Cable. Um, I I kind of have a kind of confused thing of Cable and Jug Jugglenut, or the kid, as the kid is what what they called him. And, but um, but anyway, those are the seventeen um, villains from Marvel. Make 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 sure you enjoyed it and make sure to find out um, if Thanos. Gets what he get really got what what he wanted or is he gonna die in the next Avengers the end game so make sure you enjoy subscribe and like and see y'all later.